Okay, it's me again. I have to remake the first part of that video. Um, okay, so, again, on Facebook, this lady was talking about, is it okay for a Christian to be sexy? I'm like, does it fucking matter? Like, you're human. Do what you're made to do. Humans are made to be attractive to one another. Why does this shit matter? I don't know. Like, church, the church is trying to be way too close to God, and you're far as fuck from it. So as far as her question, oh, is it wrong for a Christian to be sexy? My answer is, who gives a fuck is free will? Who gives a fuck? At the end of the day, is the fact that you're sexy going to make you evil or good? Is it sending you to hell or heaven? Does it matter? Like, literally, God don't give two fucks. Like, y'all act like, oh, I'm a sexy Christian, so I'm going to heaven. I'm an ugly Christian, so I'm going to hell. Bruh, once you leave this body, all that sex appeal shit is gone. It really don't matter. Like, literally, the shit don't matter. You're on earth to have free will to do bad and do good. Who gives a fuck how sexy you are? Who really cares? At the end of the day, Jesus wore rags and had a nappy fucking afro, was born in a manger around shit, pee, flies, and goats, cows, and all other types of shit. Who gives a fuck? Really? If Jesus was so concerned about a person's sex appeal, believe me, he could have been born to royalty, nice hair, nice skin, not wearing sandals with no socks. Bruh, come the fuck on now. Your savior literally was born around shit and pee and flies in a manger in a farm on farmland, which was dirty as hell. Literally. The man was born to the slums. Are you f serious? Jesus hung with pimps, prostitutes, gangbangers, drug dealers, drug addicts, hoes. Dressed like a bum. And y'all worried about can a Christian be sexy? Oh my damn. Oh my damn. If your savior didn't give a shit about his appearance, why the fuck do you? Like, why? Like, I, I don't understand. What, can, can a Christian be sexy? The fuck do it matter? Like, really, you're a human. What the fuck do it matter what your religion is? I don't think your dick is going to get any less hard when you see an attractive woman or your coochie ain't going to get wet when you see an attractive dude. It, your religion ain't changing your goddamn humanity. It, it, it's really not. Like, y'all seem to think, oh, once I become Christian, oh, my sin stop. No, it does not. The shit don't work like that. Don't care how long you are walking with who the fuck ever. You're always going to be a human. Don't give a fuck who you walk with. Don't care how perfect you think you are. Don't care how far from whatever you do you think you are. No, nigga. Till you leave this earth, you're morally corrupt. That's just your nature as a person. It's just what the fuck it is. Some people choose to do evil. Some people choose to do good. It's a balance. Some people just fake as fuck and then pretend to be real. It's a fucking balance. Some people could molest a child, go to sleep like it ain't shit. It's a balance. Same person I kill you would feed a homeless person. Balance. Someone will whoop your ass and go cradle their old mama in their arms. Balance. What y'all worrying about is, as a Christian, can you be sexy? Was your savior that way? I'm just asking a question. Was Jesus sexy? I mean, if, if, if you really want to be on the real shit, was Jesus sexy the whole time he was down here? Real fucking question. He's who you're taking your life and your being from. Was he? If he wasn't, why the fuck do you care? Really? All Jesus worried about was the nature of a human 
spirit, as far as a sex appeal, yeah, the nigga wasn't worried about all that shit. Oh, I, yeah. here's my here's a little piece of wisdom. I'm just throwing it the fuck out there. You take it how you take it. If your main focus is on how sexy you are, then that must mean you have a very ugly inside, personally. Because nobody would have, with a, like, would have, what a righteous spirit gives a fuck how their outer, outer, outer flesh look. Only people that give a fuck about how attractive they are on the outside are motherfuckers who are very ugly on the inside. You have never seen a person who's one with nature who treats people the right way, who does what's right, give a fuck about their outer shell. Not one person. Why? Because they know this body ain't gonna last them forever, so let me try to correct the thing I know that is, and say fuck the thing I know that ain't. But y'all too busy worrying about can I be sexy as a Christian? Y'all trying to be too damn perfect. It's just not that real. It's just not that real. And just to say it also. Um. What was my point? What the fuck was my point? And it'll come back to me. But anyway. Y'all do know again. Um. When Jesus walked the earth, nothing about him had a sex appeal. Nothing. The reason why Jesus took the form he took was to see who would accept him for who he looked like, not who he really was. That's what a lot of motherfuckers get twisted. If Jesus brings you to this earth in a certain form, in a certain lifestyle... It's because he wants to see who's willing to accept you for who you are. Not who you might become 30 years down the fucking line, who you are now. Because, trust me, if niggas knew right now you're a millionaire, 30 years from now you're going to go bankrupt, motherfuckers probably would not want nothing to do with your ass. If a nigga seen you struggling right the fuck now, but 20 years into the future... You're going to become a millionaire. Watch how many motherfuckers hang around you like it ain't shit. But the main point with Jesus, he is testing the eyes of humans by putting people in different lifestyle choices just to see who accepts it and who the fuck rejects it personally. Because that was his whole damn purpose of taking that form. Okay, I could go down to Earth and um, where all this flashy shit be shiny, have nice hair, look like a heavenly being. But since I know humans would either fear me or only want me because of the shit I got, let me take a more humble image and see what they do. Because it appears people only want to be around you when you have something worth them being around you for. People only deal with your ass when you have something worth them dealing with. Once it's gone, they're gone. Momentary, motherfuckers. They don't like to be around you for longer than what you have and as long as that shit lasts. Once that shit is gone, they're gone. So he decides, let me be born in the worst way, live in the worst conditions, and dress the worst, just to see who accept me. Just to see. And you'd be surprised. All the religious folk back in his day rejected him. Pretty much all the people you would think accepted Jesus rejected his ass. It's only the people in the world that accepted him. Shit, a wino told him that he was going to get murdered by his own people. I'm just saying, a nigga who drinks like a fucking fish in water who'd been out of it too long told him he was going to get murdered. Meanwhile, the people in the church who were supposed to be his homies killed him. 
Ain't that telling you some shit right there? It, it, it be the people that be acting the closest to you that be the ones that plot your fucking demise and still smile in your goddamn face while they doing it. The irony with that shit is cold. But anyway, um, point being, don't nobody give a fuck how sexy or ugly you are. Literally, nobody cares. At the end of the day, and I just want to say this because it need to get said. Because niggas don't, don't, don't want to be honest, but I'm going to say it. Fuck it. And Dave Chappelle said the same shit. If, as a woman, you dress half decent with your ass showing and your titties and all that shit out. And you're wearing tight, revealing shit outside. And you got a man. You're trying to get somebody else's attention that ain't your man. I don't give a fuck what you tell me. If you dress nice for someone you've been with for a long time, you're trying to get somebody else's attention, and it ain't his. Just like a man. If he dresses super nice, there's a chance you fucking up somewhere. I said what I said. Because if you... See, here's the law of being with somebody for so fucking long. If the person's doing everything as a spouse that they're supposed to do and you're that type of spouse who ain't a bitch or a bitch ass nigga and you're mature in your mind and you understand, oh, this person ain't going to have it like that every day. We've been through too much. You know, I love him for who he is. He loved me for who I am. Let's keep going that way. But... If you that insecure, petty, jealous type that can't understand human nature and you're with somebody for what they have, not who the fuck they are or what the fuck they can do for you, the second that well runs dry, you looking for water somewhere the fuck else. But on the outside, you're faking your love for your spouse because you don't want to lose that person because of what they can probably still do for you. On the inside, you want somebody to fuck else. So you dress nice, tell your spouse, oh, babe, this is for you. Mean why? Oh, it's for somebody to fuck else. Because if you've really been with that person so long, You shouldn't have to be trying to show out. That person should be able to accept you whether you're dressed like a bum or a five-star chick. It shouldn't matter. At the end of the fucking day, you've been together so long. Who gives a fuck as long as y'all love for each other is real? Who gives a fuck? Only time y'all supposed to really dress up is when you're going on a date or some real extravagant shit. Other than that, if your woman's dressing super nice to go to the store, my nigga, there's something wrong with that. If your man going outside dressing nice just to go to the fucking store, there's something wrong with that shit. He's looking for validation somewhere that is not you. I'm just keeping it real. Because niggas don't want to say it. That's what the fuck it is. But anyway, peace.